Hey everyone, welcome to the Codebase Studio. This is me, Sri Raj here. So today we'll be working on the city sample vehicles. City sample vehicles is actually a part of the city sample itself. So apart from city sample vehicles, we all, uh, all uh, already have like city sample crowd and a city sample building. Okay. So here what we'll actually start with is how to add the city sample vehicles into your project and how to start using them. So let's start by clicking on the add to import button, uh, add to project button and click on one of your projects, go to add to project. I have already added this project into the my project part, so I will not be doing it again. So what you have to do is click on your project and click on add to project. Okay. The next thing is go to your project. Okay. So when you actually go to your project and go into the city sample vehicle, so you'll be getting the folder here. So this is a basic Unreal Engine project. So you'll have your third person over here and then WAST pretty much works. Okay. And uh, to move forward, backward, everything, and also the uh, XY for <clears throat> the mouse too works well. Okay. Access mapping, everything is done by Unreal. So what we have to do first is make sure that inside the plugins you have enhanced input activated okay so if you have it activated and if it is not activated what you'll have to do is activate it and restart the uh, entire engine okay so i hope it is activated right now for you guys so whatever do next is go into your project settings okay and you have to enable this input so by default, you will be in the player input and input component. So here, since we are using an input context, a context so we'll have to change it to the enhanced player input and also enhanced input component. Okay, you don't have to add anything in the axis mapping and action mappings. I'll, I'll come into that. I'll come into what, why we are not using any action or axis mappings over here. So let's start with the city sample vehicle. So first thing is probably you can go into the city sample map. Okay, so city sample map has all the vehicles within it. So there are pretty much a lot of vehicles available over here. Okay, and these are all uh, already like pre-rigged, everything, even the physics asset, everything is already done by Unreal Engine itself. And also the input mapping has been done here so we'll get into that a bit later so first thing what we'll do is let's click on the play button and you can see it's already assigned to this van over here okay click on play so now mind the text that is being shown in the left on throttling that was some text that i have already added so yeah excuse me for the lighting part uh this is the first time i'm running it and i didn't build it so this is how the sample project is in uh, so within the uh, YouTube, I have seen many people who have already posted this particular session. So why I posted this part is because when I was trying to actually play this, the input was not working for me, and I had to face that issue. So now I'll tell you why it wasn't working. Because when we go to the input over here and in vehicles, you can see something called IMVH input mapping. So input mapping context is one way of actually adding inputs for or adding the states for a particular vehicle or any it could be for any point. Okay, so you can actually add all the inputs and details over here. Okay, so in this video, I'll not be covering the entire input uh, context. So if you are interested, you can actually go into Unreal. I will put the link in the description below. So if uh, you can uh, take a look into this and you can actually understand why exactly uh, we are using the input context method. Okay. Now let's get back into how to put it into your level. So you have pretty much seen that your vehicle is actually fully functional. It can actually do like drive around and it's a pretty good one. Right. So let's get back. Oh, okay. Before that, before getting into that, let's see what we have in the level blueprints. Okay. So even graph. What we can say here is, if you press the button 1, it actually possesses the uh, main vehicle which was already set and vehicle 2, you can keep pressing the buttons to actually shift from one car or one vehicle into another. So let's keep, let, let's just try it out. I'm going to press 1, so same vehicle 2, I can drive vehicle number 2, okay. So it's pretty much already done over here, okay. 
so you can just keep shifting from vehicles to vehicles and then keep trying out everything what is available over here okay yeah that is pretty much it now let's see how to spawn the vehicles into one of your levels okay so getting back here let's go back so this is a basic third person project so i'll have third person map available here let's go into the third person map yep and then one thing that i have to make sure is within this vehicle system all the vehicles most of the vehicles have, will have pretty much a lot more uh, the loading time would be pretty much high so since i couldn't actually handle the uh, all the textures everything i actually chose one of the vehicle which actually had a bit of a low a uh, lower texture compared to others so i'm going to drag and drop that here okay so if you find it slow it's quite normal because uv5 all the contents are of very high resolution so one thing that you can probably do is go into the project settings reduce the, like uh, move from lumen to none and also disable the ray tracing and if i click on the like before clicking on the play button i'll go to details and you can see when i click on auto it's already assigned to player zero and if i click on play right now i am able to drive the vehicle so if you had an issue when you had to fill the input so this is how you do it so enhanced inputs has to be activated in the project settings i will be coming back and explaining you more about the vehicle setup in a video very soon 